When I was asked to uh, sell The Fugitive, I was approached by uh, uh, one of the people who ended up producing it, whose name I can't remember. Uh, I can, I'll can, i probably remember it in an hour from now, but I don't <laughs> have to remember it now. Uh, he, he said that they wanted to buy the, right, the movie rights to The Fugitive. And I said to him, why do you want to do that? I mean, the, the closing episode of The Fugitive was seen by 70 million people. And it was like a movie. It brought it to an end. Uh, so the story is known. Uh, why would you want to make The Fugitive into a movie? He says, when was that? And I said, you mean when the last Fugitive came on? He says, yeah. I said, well, it was approximately, I guess about 25 years ago. He says, that's the answer. He says, moviegoers are all, most moviegoers are around 25 years old. Some of them weren't even born when what you're talking about happened. And that's why. But they've heard of The Fugitive. So there is recognition. The Fugitive is something they heard about. But they don't know what it is. They don't remember. They, they didn't see that episode. Obviously, it was a very good idea. I didn't know that at the time. Uh, but in, in, when I made my deal and sold the movie rights to The Fugitive, I made a fairly good, what looked like a very good deal. Uh, and he's still paying me money. Uh, so that I was very happy to, to do that. I had no idea whether it would work. I thought it wouldn't. 